Hey everybody, Ranch in here, bringing you yet another Stark of commentary. It's going to be set three of Samson Khan against STS Soul, which was played a couple of days ago. One and one so far, two good matches back behind us, and now we're going to have Odin against Calm, a ZVZ here. Odin being uh, one of the few <laughs> guys, uh, one of the few Zergs uh, used by Khan these days, and he's actually not very good. VZ is one of his few saving graces, I guess. He's about 50 there. But he's played a surprising amount of matches and has won a surprising small amount of them. Calm has been one of the surprises of this season, doing extremely well. His VZ is his best matchup, although all of his rates are just under 50, fluctuating between 40%, uh, around 40%. So we'll see how he goes there. Calm being a very good uh, clutch player for STX Soul this season, uh, along with Cal, so we'll see how that all goes down. <clears throat> Odin, <laughs> yeah, we'll see if Odin can actually take a win here. He's kind of been the hook of Samson Khan, and we'll see if that changes here. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes, this match is going to be on Neo Requiem. Neo Requiem. We're going to have Calm at 6 o'clock in red, and at 12 o'clock in teal, we're going to have Odin. This is Neo Requiem, a very old map, a long used map that's been brought back here. It's a very interesting map in that, you know, uh, your natural expansion is up on the high ground while your main is inside the low ground, and Taking your natural is actually extremely dangerous because there's a huge space behind it that lets it be easily shelled and bombarded with air forces. But usually, uh, the amount of expansions does not really come into play in ZVZ. ZVZ usually goes from Zerging straight to Mulisks, and whoever has the superior Mura Scourge Micro wins. So we'll see here if Odin can show us that he has improved his Mura Ling Micro. Uh, or whether Calm will just kick his ass. Get, uh, Calm getting his gas already, so he's possibly going to go for quick tech, just not going to bother with any large amount of wings, and just going to quickly swing over instantly to uh, Mutalisk, or maybe instead he's going to go for quick uh, wing speed and just try to finish it off with quick links. Extractor also going down now for Odin and an a overpull for him. That spawning pool went down after the pool. Uh, no spawning pool yet coming down for Calm. We'll see where he's going to go. Over yeah, okay, spawning pool now going down. 12 pool by uh, overpool and 12 pool respectively, I believe it was. Or is that the same thing? Never mind. Uh, no real words to say at this moment. Uh, it is cross positions, so it's going to be quite a large distance to travel. And I think both, yeah, both scouts went in the same direction towards that three o'clock expansion. And from there, they're going to know, probably going to know where the other guy is. They're going to swing their second overlord right back down. Just trying to scout each other out. Spawning pools on the V. Both players uh, mine gas at a large amount already. Some fans there working a little bored and chatting. I look forward to seeing what it is going to do. Lair already coming up for Odin, so he's just going to quickly. Lair also quick lair for Calm, so, but we're going to see quick mutalisks for both of them. I don't see any zerglings out yet. It's very interesting how they're almost completely mirroring each other, although the timing is slightly different. The comms lair is like two seconds late. Two Zerglings now out for Odin, so he's gonna, we're going to see what he does with those. He's just going to wait outside his ramp. Four Zerglings out for Calm. Oh, he waits for his lair to evolve. Four, okay, four wings each. Uh, yeah, okay, just being used to block the ramps. Odin with a nice little surround on the bottom there. A few more Zerglings coming out for both players, and Zerglings now running around. For Calm, he's going to see what he's going to do. He's going to spot, see that overlord. Not that it really changes anything. Uh, second hatchery going down inside of Calm's base. So he's going to try to uh, up the production of units pretty quickly. 
No second hat tree going down. Uh, quick spire instead. He's gonna screw the hat tree. He's gonna quickly go for spire. Spire. Gonna start evolving any minute now for calm. Yeah, going down a little bit late. So yeah, uh, calm's just gonna try to take a yeah production advantage. Both guys mirroring each other almost exactly, except Odin went for the uh, spire slightly before he went for his second hatchery so he's gonna have Mulus out a little bit earlier although I don't think they're gonna make a huge change seeing as Calm is gonna uh, by the time Calm's uh, Mulus I'm sorry are in place Odin's Mulus will just be flying into his base so no matter what happens we're gonna see some Muta micro from both players and see at what level they are there I think Calm is a little superior in that regard he has been playing very good this season Odin is just you know, he's, I don't know, he seems, he looks, every time I look at him, he looks more like a B team player. Yeah, Calm now moving in with Zerglings in a spot that larger amount of Zerglings blocking uh, Odin's ramp. And not gonna move in at all. Uh, Spire almost up, second hatchery almost up for Odin. I think it should be any second now. And Calm's also on the ass. Okay, Spire now up. Uh, I think there were eggs that started morphing instantly. Well, wow, lots of lo lots of larva just waiting for that Spire to come up. So Calm is going to try to morph in six Mutalisks instantly. Wow, wow. Okay, that's what exactly what he does. Spire comes up and instantly, I think those are all six Mutalisks. And a bunch of eggs also spawning in for Odin. So we're going to see a huge Mutalisk battle very, very soon. Zerglings are probably going to play a lesser amount, uh, but they're also going to be important in that if you can distract Mutalisks with your Zerglings and move in with your Zerglings, you can do plenty of damage. Mutalisks now out for Odin, they're on the way, uh, but he will need to reinforce them before he tries to go for anything. What is that? 5, 6. Mutalisks out for uh, Calm, that Zergling is going to see those, so we'll see how Odin reacts to that. Uh, scores are also going to be needed very soon for both players. Overlord is going to get taken down by those Mutalisks, so there's already a slight bad thing for Odin already it's things like this in this match that I think will give the other player an advantage I there's been no real fights so far just a couple of Zerglings running around doing nothing special really another they're scouting Zergling around for Odin flying around so a lot of scourge out now for Odin so he's gonna try to engage the Mulus in the right way Ooh, those Zerglings not being micro very long just completely ignored and a bunch of them being taken down oh man finally those Mulus moving in and trying to prevent those Mulus and scourge I'm gonna move in. Oh man, all those Zerglings get taken down. Odin not microing at all. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about when I talk about Odin being a bad player. He doesn't micro his troops at all. He just doesn't seem to be paying attention. I mean, he's gotta has to micro his mules. He has to macro up and he has to do other things. Uh, okay, there's drone apparently gonna go put down a sunken or something or my air defenses and decided not to because he can't put out an air defense because you have no evolution chamber more mirrors coming out now for Odin I'm just waiting for that engagement as soon as the engagement happens uh, it's gonna decide the winner um, one one of there is an engagement gonna happen and one of the players is gonna win that engagement and when that happens it's over uh, Drona coming out gonna take out the natural for calm calm is there we go I'm gonna get you I'm moving in the scourge following from behind but not gonna happen Zerglings are also moving in for calm he's gonna go for two prong attack those mutalists of his really disturbing those uh, mutalists off Odin's and Odin's mutalists has been completely caught off guard a few Zerglings also without for Odin tried to disrupt those other Zerglings but they're not gonna do anything there are no mutalists out for Odin at all uh, Scourge now finally flying out but they're not gonna be able to do anything also Scourge out for calm that's gonna say all the mutalists of Odin have been taken down a few scourge still alive gonna take down a few of those mutalists but those mutalists gonna take complete free reign gonna just entire decimate this entire drone line that's it GG by Odin just all in all bad play by Odin just wow why is this guy still playing professional Starcraft I don't understand he he needs more practice man he this guy needs to practice more before he goes to the big leagues so 2-1 for STX nice little game there by calm it is good play. Uh, surprised Odin pretty well there. Uh, just a larger amount of forces. This game didn't even come down to micro, really. Uh, Coach January looking a little bit pissed off there. Like, what the hell did you just do, Odin? What is your problem?